Okay, in this session we will look at the CSS styles. Okay, that is cascaded style sheet, how to apply it. So to begin with, we start with the HTML tag and then we will be having the head, head tag under that. Right, and then we will be having the body also. So inside the body we are going to give content. So now let me start with screen drive 111. So let's verify it in the browser whether it is appearing or not. It's appearing but it's too small. So I'm going to increase the size. So to increase the size, I'm going to give H1, right? And I'm making it fine. Now the size has increased, but I want to give it some color. Okay. I'm going to give some um, blue color to it. Okay. So I'll be placing it inside a div tag. And then and then I'll paste it and then I will give it style is equal to color. So here I say that the color is blue. Okay. And I want to align it in the center because it's in the left left side and I want to bring it to the center. So what am I going to do? I'm going to say text align center means it will be coming in the center, right? Still right one over. Now, I am going to copy paste and then say still right two, 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 right? So now I have two elements, good. But here, I am repeating everything like an imposition, okay? I don't want to do that. Here also I say text align center, color blue. Here also I say text align center, color blue. So to avoid that, I am saying for all views in this thing, I have to give a style. So that is where I am going to say style, okay, type equal to text bar CSS, this is the attribute. And then inside that you are going to say for all the view, make the color as blue and the text align as center. Okay, the moment you give that, because this is applicable to all the views, you can uh, remove this, this attribute style. Okay, so now when you test it out, the blue color will remain. Suppose you are going and doing something here, like a red, so it will automatically change for all the views. Now, let me go ahead and create some five more divs, sorry, three more divs. And I have it here. Now, all are in red color. Now, suppose I want to make the third div uh, to blue color, but I want to do it using something like class, as in a class attribute, blue div. Then how should I go, do it here? I have to have a dot saying it is for a class and then say blue div. So I will say here color is blue. I need not give text line center because uh, that will be inherited from the div given in line number 4. So what I am doing in line number 5 is just overriding the color. I am overriding the red color to blue color. That's it. Okay. So now I get that as blue color. Now let's say I want to make that 444 as orange color but using ID. So I am saying orange, right? If I am giving the ID as orange div, okay? So here it is the same thing. I am going to say orange div and that color is orange, right? So here I will be saving the file and then giving it, it is not reflecting. So let me check why it is not reflecting, okay. So because here it is dot, which means class, I have to give a hash to indicate it is an ID, okay. So now you can see it has changed to R. And you can always override by giving style again. The inline style is very powerful and it will override everything else. So if I now give a color as black, so it is going to be black, right? So now we have learned how to change the color using class, ID, inline attributes and a generic uh, element style, okay? 
so that's it for this session we'll meet in another session thanks guys